Hi everyone, Fintan here from Dancing Cloud, and this week I wanted to talk about a fundamental change in drive sharing permissions. It's probably one of the biggest changes that Google have made since the inception of shared drives, although it is a feature that a lot of customers have been looking for since day one. So if you use shared drives or my drive, stay tuned. So today we're talking about access experience in Google Drive and the update to it. I think it's kind of a bit of a strange name for it, um, but essentially it's changing how you can um, share folders within Google Drive. Uh, they're starting with shared drives, but it will eventually be um, available in my drive as well. I'm gonna focus on shared drives because that's what most of our customers use. And I do think that this is a really positive update. It's something that a lot of our customers have wanted actually since day one. So I think I might start by just taking a step back and explaining how file permissions actually work within Google. So firstly, um, the original experience was my drive and my drive was a distributed file system, which meant anybody could share a folder with anyone. You could have um, my folder in you know, John's folder and I would own my folder and he would own his one and you know, we could have our own permissions on it. And it was all a bit messy because it was a distributed file system. Uh, and it was fine for kind of individual sharing things, but as companies started to use Google Drive and as Google Drive sort of grew and um, Google Workspace grew in popularity, it kind of stopped working for a lot of companies. And so Google came out with shared drives. Now shared drives meant that all the files and folders were owned by um, the same person. Uh, in, in, in the shared drive case, the company. Um, and so they weren't owned by individuals. And when shared drives launched, and up until this point, you could only share all of the documents within a shared drive with everybody. So the minimum access you could give everyone in a shared drive was view access, and then you could give increased access beyond that, comment access, content manager access, and then kind of manager access. What this change allows you to do is to, to share a folder with everybody, a shared drive with everybody, and pick an individual folder within that, that shared drive and say, I don't want people to be able to view this folder. And that's really, really beneficial because most, company has a, ha, most companies have like a set of folders that they want to share with everyone. And then they've one or two or three that maybe they only want to share with senior management or HR or finance but they still want to keep them all in the same folder structure because that's what they used to do on a file server. And up until now, that hadn't been possible in Google Drive. So I think this is going to be really, really beneficial. So firstly, I'm just going to show you the blog post. We link to this and you can take a look at it yourself. Google are calling it updating access experience in Google Drive. Again, I kind of feel like it's a bit of a strange name for it, but anyway. Um, and then they explain that it, they launched it in beta last year and that you could um, restrict specific uh, uh, folders uh, to specific users. And then they go through a little bit of an explanation of it. Okay, so I'll leave you guys to, to peruse that in your, in your own time. What I'd actually like to do is to show you um, how it works in action. Okay, so here I have, I'm in my uh, typical test account for anyone that watches this, I'm in my, uh, watches this frequently, I'm in my Tom Jones account. And I'm gonna go into the gym manager drive. Okay, and in the gym manager drive, I have a set of four folders. I have finance, miscellaneous, staff contracts, and workout plans. Now, the only file in there that are a folder in there that I don't want everyone to see is the finance folder. And we can see that this is uh, shared here. So I right click on it and I go to sharing and I go to share. There's a couple of different ways to get to that, but that's how I'm doing it at the moment. And that's going to op open up the sharing um, permissions for this particular folder, okay? And we can see here that we have all guests and members. So the all has uh, everybody uh, in it who's shared on this. We can see we've got a mix of managers and content people, and people who can uh, comment on it. Under the guests, and this is important, I have finance at demo.damsoncloud and they've been added as commenters. So um, that will come in later on, but guests are basically people who've been added individually to this folder within this shared drive, okay? So in order to get to this new setting, you go up to the top right hand corner and you click settings. And now for, for, for this folder, there's a setting called limited access. If you'd like to learn more information on that, there's a little click learn more and that will bring you to 
the help uh, section for this particular new feature and it will explain it to you in more detail than the blog post so I'd recommend taking a look at that. So I'm going to select this now and this is going to remove everybody from the shared drive who isn't a manager and who hasn't been shared individually on this um, shared drive okay so it's just told me it's updated the access there. If I go back now we can see it says this folder has limited access. Only shared drive managers or people added directly to this folder can open it. And again, it has learn more. It brings me to that same uh, page we were already on. It has Tom Jones, which is myself. It has, uh, went away there, Tom. It has our finance uh, at, Dan's, at demo .dan's and Cloud, and it has Ruben because he's a manager. So myself and Tom are managers, and this, this group, it's not a person, it's actually a group, has three members in it. Um, has comment access. If we go over to remove access, we can see here who has been removed from it. And I can actually, if I want, add them back in if I wanted to, as a viewer, commenter, contributor, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So if if I didn't mean to remove them or they, you know, Jane was somebody who, who needed to have access, I could add them back in. This finance one has been added as a guest, so they do still have access, but on an individual folder level. So it's not that they're a manager they've been added, that group's been added, and I can change the level of access that they would have, okay? Um, and then when I move out of it, the other thing to note is we can see a little sort of circle with a line through it, kind of a warning sign, saying that this finance folder is restricted, and it also sh shows up in the shared drive section on the side. So that's it. Um, it seems like a small thing to be able to do, but you were never able to do that before. So what you would have had to have done previously is move that finance folder out into its own shared drive. And that was problematic for companies because they would end up with maybe more shared drives than they actually needed because they would have to do this restricted access thing. So I think it's still good practice to have separate shared drives in some cases for senior management or whatever, so things aren't accidentally shared. But I can really see this being very, very valuable to a lot of customers. If you're not subscribed to Dan's and Cloud, please do hit that subscribe button, whether you're on LinkedIn or YouTube or wherever you're following us. Uh, we try to do regular updates every week or two. We had a little bit of a break there after Christmas, but we will be right back at it now, doing content on Google Workspace, Google Cloud, uh, a lot of content on Gemini and, and Google's AI solutions uh, this year. So look forward to making some great content in 2025.